been a minute since I've had a firehouse. Oh my God, let's go. This location is in Okotoks, Alberta and currently has a rating of 4.6 on Google. Let's get into some reviews. It's review time. Our first review is a one-star review from Scott D. Scott says it's great to see a new business in town full of customers. However, they take your name and don't give you a number. And there was another guy in the restaurant with the same name as him and he took his order. The gentleman opened it and did return the order, but he feels violated not knowing where his order was. And now he's got a five-star review from Jared. Jared says, wow, he's super impressed with these subs. He's not a huge sub person to begin with, but Firehouse changed that for him. So now let's share my experience. I walk in and I was greeted about three minutes after walking in. Now there's a lot of people working. There's about six or seven people behind the Good counter morning. today. Could I get... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna find it. So club on a sub, please. Large, with white bread. Could I get cheddar cheese instead of the Monterey, if possible? Sure. Extra mayo, no lettuce and tomato. And then I will go with the Firehouse Hero, please. A large, and white bread. Do you want the pickle spear for both of those? Pickles for both, please, yes, it'd be amazing. A little side note here, they did forget the pickles in one of them. And that's everything. No modifications for the hero? No, the hero's fine. What comes out of lettuce, tomato? Lettuce, tomato, onion, deli, mustard, mayo, provolone. That's amazing. Yeah. And then for the club, it's sub cheddar and then no lettuce or tomato. Extra mayo. Extra mayo as well. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's for takeout or dine-in? Uh, to go, please. Just a name for your wedding. J. Would you like to up to the nearest dollar for local first responders? Yes, please. Place my order. She told me to go pop a squat, and we wait. And we wait a very, very long time. As you can see, there's lots of people in the kitchen there. Now, I waited. The runtime on my phone waiting for this was 13 minutes and 36 seconds, which is ridiculous for waiting for two sandwiches. Uh, the other places, you know who I, they are. They take like two, three minutes tops to make a sandwich. This place is 13 minutes and 36 seconds after ordering. That's insane. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. So after that long wait time, we finally got our subs, and here they are. Like I said, they forgot one of the pickles in the other box, but here's my sub. It's loaded. There's lots of mayo on there. The provolone, the ham, the turkey, lettuce, tomato, all the toppings. And I got to say, it's just mediocre. It's nothing special. They do steam the meat great, but it is nothing really crazy, nothing to get hyped up about compared to any other sandwich. It's just the same as all the other sandwich places. Now to rate my experience, and I'm going to have to give this one two stars. The little bit of confusion there, waiting for 13 minutes, 33 seconds for a sub is ridiculous. And I mean, it was just an average sub, nothing spectacular. So two stars is where we're at. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your day.